Hi ladies, so I wanted to talk to you about the new unique duet sculpting sticks. I've used it now once on myself and once on a client and I'm absolutely in love with how creamy and easy this is to use and blend. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how I use it. Um, you can use this with foundation, so put on your primer, foundation, and then use your sculpting stick or you can use it just by itself, no foundation, which is what I'm gonna do today. So the white end is your highlight, which is um, the lighter color. And then the black end here is your contour, so the darker shade. And all you're going to do is, if you're gonna use one brush to blend both. So the first time I used this, I used one brush for the dark side, one brush for the light side. But if you were gonna use either a blending bud, so a damp blending bud, or one brush, so the unique powder concealer brush, if you wanted to use that, that's what they recommend. Um, but if you're gonna use one brush, do the light color first and then the dark color, because you don't wanna contaminate like that really light shade by using a brush that you just used with a dark shade. So let's start with the lighter end. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this on the high points of your face. So you're gonna put it under your eyes and down along the side of your nose and then out into like a triangle. And then you're gonna put it right down the center of your face. So I like to do an upside down triangle on my forehead, down the center of my nose, above my lip, and then right on my chin. Okay, and then you can do one of two things. Like I said, you can use your powder concealer brush or a blending bud. I have been using a brush because it seems to work best with my skin, but it's totally up to you. If you have um, drier skin, I would maybe try using the blending bud because it's going to be a little bit more moisturizing. I also like this brush because I can flip it back and forth and have a small end and a bigger end to get like right under my eyes and in all those smaller areas, okay? So this is gonna be like a medium coverage. It's not gonna be like our full coverage foundation. So if you want full coverage and you're just looking for a little bit of a contour, then definitely use your um, foundation under this. But if you just want something quick to add some dimension, you don't want to have to drag out the bronzer and the concealer and your foundation and you just want to quick get your makeup done, this is a great way to do that and get things done. So this is going to take literally less than five minutes. How awesome is that? And your face is going to be done. My brows were done and that's it. So next we're gonna do our dark end. And this you're gonna put in the hollows of your cheeks. And then along your hairline. And then along the sides of your nose to contour your nose. And then you can do along your whole jawline to kind of sculpt. I'm not a big fan of doing that. It's totally up to you. That's the beauty of this is that this is all up to you, okay? And what I first noticed about this product is I was nervous because it was a kind of like a stick. I thought, oh my gosh, it's going to apply and then I'm gonna get stuck with a line right where I applied it. But like I said, this is so easy to blend and so creamy and so soft. It's such an easy product to use. You don't have to worry about that at all. And the client that I used it on, she actually had rather dry skin. And I was extra concerned with that because technically you would think that a drier skin would just kind of grab onto this contour creamy stick and just kind of soak it up and then not blend really well. But that was not the case at all. I was, it was so easy to blend that out on her skin, even though it was dry. And I used a brush too. All right, so that is how easy it is, you guys. You can add a bronzer over this, but like I said, the whole point of this is quick, easy, ready to go, bing, bang, boom. I am just going to 
throw on some lip balm and then I'm out the door. I'm out of here. So I will talk to you guys soon. If you have any questions on the new sculpting sticks, let me know. I'd love to chat with you. Otherwise, let me know if you have any other questions or want to see any other tutorials.